This is the image thumbnails library template at SharePointDashboards.com. The purpose of this template is to format a library filled with images. The normal default view, if you have images loaded in your library, isn't particularly user friendly. So we want to have a template that allows us to view those in an easy and intuitive manner. In order to use this template, you do need to make sure that your library is showing the fields listed in the notes section. Th this information is used for metadata and for hover information when you're working with the file. Since I've got those fields set up, I'm going to go ahead and apply this template to the library so we can see how this works. Note that you have some different theme options that you can take a look at. And optionally, you can decide whether or not you want to show a download link underneath the images. If you use that, it will allow the user to click the link, which will immediately download that image file to their local computer. So let me go ahead and select theme one. I'm going to click copy template and then just follow the instructions in the pop-up window. In SharePoint, I need to go to the view selector and I'm going to format current view, then click on advanced mode, select all and paste the code from your clipboard. And there is my image gallery. Now this is pretty large. I can of course adjust the size however I want. So let's go back and try it with a smaller size. I can just go to this tile width and make that whatever size I want. So for example, let's try 80 instead, which is much smaller tiles. Okay, so I can just make those adjustments, come back, and then go back to the format of the current view and just paste over that code. And there you see it. One great thing about this, it does use responsive design, and that means it's going to immediately and automatically adjust to the width of your browser window, which is a very handy feature. And just to demonstrate it, I'll show also with the download link turned on just so we can see how that works. Copy the template once again, go back to my directory of images and format current view, paste over, and now we've got with the download link. That just gives me the option where if I click download, it saved that file immediately to my local computer. So that's optional. You can decide whether or not you want that as a feature in your library. You can, of course, adjust all kinds of different things with this. Uh, by default, the thumbnail width is 100% of the width of the overall tile, but you can adjust the size of that as well. You can optionally decide whether you want to show the file link, and then you can do adjustments to the link if you want to change the hover color, for example, uh, or if you want to change the uh, font size of the labels, you can make adjustments to that as well. So if you have a library of images in your SharePoint environment, this would certainly be a way to improve the usability and appearance for your users. I hope you find that useful, and good luck.